this isn't working. Why is it taking so long? These may be questions you find that you're asking yourself regarding your healing journey. So often I come across people, amazing, well-intended souls who have tried many different things and are kind of like bouncing around like a pinball in a pinball machine, trying to find that one thing that works. Well, I'm here to tell you that this healing journey is really a marathon. That's the best way to think about it. It's one of those things where if you make that commitment, you stick to it, you continue to just show up every day for yourself, you focus on your mindset, you reconnect with your body, and you move through all of that dense energy, get it moving so that your higher self can land in ground. It's one of those things that one day you're going to start to realize that all of that we, we call work has started to pay dividends, meaning you're going to start to see from your external reality how all of that amazing focus, intention, and work that you've been doing has really just started to blossom and started to pay off. You're starting to just experience the changes from that. Now, I'm here to tell you that those changes may start off in subtle ways. You may not wake up one morning and have just this amazing access to your higher self, to your guides, to your intuition. You may not be able to perceive energy or anything like that right off the bat. You may feel like you're still living in an older version of Earth. But what's going to happen is that you're going to start to perceive new, just small, subtle changes throughout your day. And they're going to show up as maybe you realize that you're in a situation that might have triggered you in the past, but now you're a little bit more present, you're a little bit more stable, and you're responding from a more aligned way instead of reacting to the old self. You may still be aware of the old self that pops up in that situation, but you may not entertain that old self. You may realize that, wow, I handled that differently. Maybe you're going to get some cues from people around you, like you're feeling so much more aligned, so much more calm, so much more stable, right? This is your environment reflecting back to you and manifesting just these validations of the work that you've been doing. So it's the subtle signs in your day-to-day -day reality in how you navigate your day that really start to show up and you have awareness about them. We can really point back at yourself and say, you know what? Wow, the breath work, the meditation, just watching Mark's videos, the content, maybe you've taken some courses, whatever that is for you is starting to show up. You're realizing that you are, in fact, a more evolved, a more enlightened, higher frequency aspect of you. Now, we continue to perceive reality through the five senses, so things look the same. And that's really one of the issues, it's probably the biggest issue that causes people to think that they're not changing because just like everything looks the same, right? But I'm here to tell you that it's the small things throughout your day that show up that are going to give you those little winks. It's like little winks from your higher self, little winks from the universe that tell you that you are moving in the right direction. So when you start to get those cues from others or from your, your environment, you could take it to the heart and know that all of that work you've been doing is in fact paying dividends. Now, point where people fall off the wagon, so to speak, is when they don't make that commitment, they're not consistent, and they don't give it the time, right? They expect results right away. And if they don't perceive these results right away, they think what they're doing isn't working, and they're off distracting themselves looking for the next course, the next video, the next group, whatever that may be. But when you jump into something that truly resonates with you, say maybe it's yoga, right? And you start doing that deep like embodiment type yoga, you're feeling the energy getting moving and you stick with that, you are going to notice that you are showing up different as a different version of you in the future. You're gonna realize that, hey, I'm feeling different. I'm navigating these situations in a different way. Yeah, I still experience the old emotions, they still come up from time to time, 
but I don't allow myself to identify with them. Instead, I'm keeping space. I'm the observer and I'm able to stay more heart-centered and more anchored. And as a result, reality is changing around me. Everything is feeling lighter. I'm finding that I'm more available to perceive opportunities. I'm less weighed down and held back by the old paradigms, by the old ideas, by the old aspects of me that were anchoring me to a lower frequency reality. I've created that space. I've allowed myself to rise. And now my reality is becoming a reflection of my new higher frequency. This takes time. This takes commitment. You dive into something that resonates and you stick with it, despite the lack of apparent evidence that you're not seeing through your five senses. You're not seeing the changes right away, right? That can cause you to distract yourself and go off and look for the next best thing. It's like the shiny new coin, okay? But when you're in something, you're doing that deep work, and really that starts with making a commitment to face all the parts of you that you've been repressing or avoiding for years. Parts that don't feel good. All of those parts that come up when you're triggered, all the dense emotional states, that stuff that you haven't wanted to feel that has been causing you to distract yourself, you have to just make a commitment to yourself, a loving commitment to be able to experience those aspects as they rise up. That really is the key. We don't want to run from this. You want to face this. You don't have to become it, but you want to allow these aspects to be seen. And you continue to do the work, the deep healing, the cleansing, the purging, the inner work, regardless of what your reality is reflecting to you in the moment. You continue to do the work. You continue to get aligned and you trust that you are on the path. It's like stepping into the dark forest instinctually. Your ego is going to want you to turn around and get out. So when we try something new that maybe brings up things that don't feel so good, that a lot of times this deep healing work will do, it will it will free up dense and stuck energy and that doesn't feel good. Your ego is going to say, let's turn around, let's step back out of the forest. I don't want to go into that darkness. But the path, the future, the new earth, the manifested new version of you that you are seeking is through the forest. And it can get dark. That's the whole point. Everything in that forest represents aspects of you, shadows that you have been running from your entire life. You ask yourself, why hasn't my life changed? Because you have not committed to face the shadows. You've not made that commitment to yourself that takes strength, that takes that commitment, that takes compassion, and most often, that takes a guide to walk you through it, one from a higher realm or one from this realm, such as what I do in navigating people through that dark forest along their journey. Because when you get through that forest or as you get through that forest, the trees start to become less dense. Light starts to penetrate through and a new reality starts to become known. Those are those validations I've been talking about earlier in this video. When you've been doing this work for some time and you start to see evidence of that in your reality based on how you're responding and based on how other people are showing up for you and noticing the changes that you've made. It's a lot easier for other people to point that out to us sometimes than it is for us to realize it ourselves because from our mind's perspective, today seems a lot like yesterday, right? But sure enough, I promise you, if you make that commitment to your healing journey, to this ascension path, you're committed to unlocking all of those gifts that you have frozen within you. And you continue to walk that path, no matter how dark it gets or how challenging it becomes, you will get through it. You will return to the light. You will remember who you are and that new version of you standing in that new high frequency 5D earth will start to manifest right before your eyes. I've seen it over and over 
with the people that I work with. I've seen it in myself. It is such a magical, amazing experience. And the challenge is for you to make that commitment to navigate this journey so that you can get through that dark forest. If you're ready to step into that and unlock these amazing high frequency aspects of you that have been hidden inside, I'm gonna put a link in the description for a free 15 minute call with me. I urge you to schedule a call so we can get together, take a look at where you're stuck, take a look at what you've tried, and I'll give you solutions on how to move forward. I'd be so honored and excited to speak with you. If you haven't scheduled with me yet, go ahead and do so now by clicking that link below. And if this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you so much.